Oh my god, JK. It's so fucking hard. The urges. Now, some of you are so focused on how strong your urges are that you lose your rational ability to use a tool or to stay accountable. Like, oh my god, JK, the urge is so overwhelming. It won't go away. It's been like this for days. It's so hard. These withdrawals are unbearable. So what? Yeah, it's hard. But not just for you, brother. For, for everyone who's struggling with this addiction. And guess what? No one can make it less hard. I, I understand that a part of you hopes that joining a program is going to make this less hard. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you can't go through life without pain unless you're in drugs. And listen, you've already been medicating half the shit in your life with orgasm. So the truth is that time is up, okay? It's end of the line, right? So you might moan for help and support, but none of it matters because you are more attached to the hardness and the overwhelm and the unrelenting nature of your urge. But here's the truth, okay? Listen up. You are comfortable giving in to your urge and you are uncomfortable with observing the urges because it's painful. You cannot handle the true nature of your urge. You have no idea how to sit with your pain because for your entire life, all you did was medicate pain so that you could feel good. And now you can't run, you can't hide. You have to become aware of the pain and use the tools and strategies that are provided within the porn reboot system. See, focusing on how much it hurts, it does only one thing. It makes you unhappy. There's nothing but a slight surge of relief followed by pain, defeat, hopelessness, and darkness once you give in. Observing the urge, its origin, the pain, now that's a skill set, and like any skill, you have to practice it. So this means that you're going to screw up sometimes, and that is okay. You'll get back up, you'll get to the group, you reach out to your accountability partners and your coaches, we will prop you the fuck up if we have to, and you'll carry on because you are not alone in this. And then you'll practice again and you'll experience a win and that win is going to encourage you. And then guess what? You'll slip, you'll beat yourself up, but instead of doing so for three days, like you usually do, for instance, you'll do so for one day and that's awesome, right? So now you're encouraged. You'll continue to apply the right strategies, make changes to your environment, learn how to manage emotions, the list goes on, but we'll show you exactly what you need to be working on at any given time in the program. Then just when you think you finally figured it out, you'll slip again. Maybe you'll even relapse. Still not a big deal. So you lay in the mud, rolling around, having a little pity party, and you'll look up and you'll see your brothers just looking down at you from the program, looking at you, but they're smiling compassionately. And they'll ask you, you done fucking around in the mud? Yeah? All right, let's get you out of that shit and let's clean you up. So strong hands will grab you, pull you up, pat you on the back, clean you up. No judgment, no belittling, just an overflow of compassion and brotherly love. So you'll experience a surge of confidence, connection, you'll feel love flow through you. And the truth is you won't be able to remember the last time you felt like that. It might be kind of weird for you, but it feels right. But what you don't know is that at that very moment, your brain is rewiring. This is part of rebooting. You practice, you experience pain, you fall back on your old habit patterns, you slip, you feel like shit, you get pulled up, you practice, you experience pain, you observe it longer, the pain overwhelms your limited skills, you fall into your old habit patterns, you slip, you feel like shit, but not for long, you get pulled up, or guess what? You might even pull yourself up. And so it continues. That's the process. You can't do this shit with no fap hard mode. You can't semen your, your re semen retention your way to success. Get off that clown train, bro, right? Just because you feel good after three weeks of not busting a nut doesn't mean that you've graduated kindergarten, okay? <laughs> right, so for those of you who are YouTube binge watchers, next time someone tells you that his semen retention or no fab course is gonna bring you abundance with women or make you wealthy, ask him to, to show you his girl his current bank account and his net worth. And if not, just don't, don't
screw with him, all right? You can't root cause your way out of it. A tree has many roots, and some of you just love getting distracted by all your different roots, right? Your therapist, who probably never overcame an addiction, is right there beside you, translating your experiences from a textbook he or she read. Years later, you're a fucking nutcase because you identify with a whole bunch of labels that you slapped on yourself or you allowed somebody to slap on you. You don't need a higher power. The higher power is already within you. And trust me, it knows when to reveal itself. You just need to do the fucking work first. That's the problem. So stop whining. It's hard at first. It will suck. Then it'll get better. And you will get better quicker when you have the right system and you're surrounded by the right people. So if you've made it this far and you're not in our group, then quit procrastinating and sign up using the link in the description below this video. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'll speak to you later on in the week.